Oh. Hi, Ma. Very good afternoon. Congratulations. Hi, Nidhi. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. So, can you please help to cover like how you prepared, how you got the job? Okay. So that it will help many people, Ma. What you, how you started your service mm -hmm. learning or how, what is your path? Mm -hmm. What is your success story? Mm -hmm. Sure, sir. Uh, so uh, I was actually into a incident management job uh -huh. before I joined your class. Uh -huh. And I was in that job for like four years. Okay. Uh, it was not even exactly a, an incident management job. It was like IT support mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of incident management there. So I I knew about ServiceNow a little that it does incident management, but that's it. Okay. But uh, two years back, one of my friends did the developer course from you. Okay. And he had suggested me that you should take up this course from uh, Sridhar sir and it will be very beneficial because right after you know your course he also got placed as a service now developer okay. Okay. with a very good package so that was inspiring to me and that motivated me to take up your course because I started feeling stuck there in that job okay. so I started taking your course and uh, slowly gradually I learned about service now there was all this teaching and also very thankful to all the dumps that you shared with us because with the help of the same dumps i was able to clear my csa certification as well good, good. Yeah. while attending the classes so i cleared that but i think uh, the real challenge started once the course was completed hmm. because until the course was going on we were practicing regularly and we were understanding the theory and all that hmm. but once the course uh, finished, then I had to practice on my own. And I also started giving interviews two weeks after the course ended. And uh, during that time, I had to give a lot of interviews. I think I've given like eight, nine interviews okay. uh, initially. Starting four interviews, I could not, I mean, even though I was practicing and all, but with interviews, it was very different. Mm. So four interviews, I was not even able to clear L1 round. Mm -hmm. uh, but then after four interviews, what I did was I, uh, with every interview, whatever questions they would ask me in that interview, in that half an hour or one hour or whatever interview, whatever questions they would ask, mm. I will write down the questions mm. in every interview. And I prepared my note right. on the basis of the theme. And if there would be a new topic uh, that they would ask me, I would not, uh, note it down. And then after the interview, I'll study that and I'll prepare more notes about it. Mm -hmm. So after uh, three, four interviews, I had an idea. I figured out a pattern mm -hmm. about what do they ask you. How they start and also how they... I made sure that I read the JD. Mm -hmm. ha yes uh what kind of question they would ask you so i prepared like a set of 300 400 questions mm. uh because even if they ask me like 20 uh, if they ask me 20 questions mm. 15 questions would be from those notes only mm -hmm. so i knew how can i do it so l1 and post that i started clearing l1 interviews like very easily you were telling uh, about uh, you need to go two to... companies i uh... sorry ma'am so you were telling about something ma jd used to uh, go through the jd very carefully what is that yes sir yeah it is important sir so usually when recruiters will call me mm -hmm. i will ask them uh, to share the job description with me mm -hmm. because they will ask me that you know it's a service now developer but in that service now developer also what exactly are they looking for are they looking for itsm developers or csm professionals correct so for example if in a jd it's written about csm mm. so i will uh, before the interview i will go to youtube I'll, i will watch your videos or i will google something about csm mm. 
and i will uh, learn something about csm so that i don't stay blank when they ask me about it in the interview mm, at least something okay so just touching base with all yes at least something so that i don't uh, appear clueless correct so uh, i will make sure that i learn i'm i'm prepared, i'm properly thorough with the jd mm. and uh, then i will before every interview those 300 questions that i have prepared one hour before the interview i'll start revising them all mm-hmm. and it happened you know sometimes because i was not very good at scripting i come from a very non technical background mm. so uh, i will know the questions and i will understand scripting for once mm. but i was 100% good with the theory mm. uh, so i made sure that, that if i'm lacking somewhere in scripting at least i score 100% in theory at least uh, so that uh, i have something uh, and i can at least i can give them an impression that i know it mm-hmm. uh then two companies i passed three companies i passed l1 rounds like very easily mm-hmm. but uh two companies i could not do the l2 round at all mm-hmm. because l2 round it started becoming more difficult they started asking me about integrations and all so integrations i was not familiar with uh, completely so uh, but then once i knew that okay they can ask about integrations as well i picked up that topic and i learned about like the rest soap and also e bonding mm-hmm. uh which is service now to service now integration using rest mm. so i learned about these things which i picked up from the interview itself mm. so i was not looking at my failure as a failure i was more looking at uh at it like an opportunity mm-hmm. that i can get a one more topic from it maybe mm-hmm. that i can learn today and then be more stronger and appear for the next interview uh in a better way mm-hmm. so uh that happened and then i then i finally got an offer uh from a company and they gave me like 100% hike on my current salary uh as a service now developer uh it got the uh, offer got closed mm, one month back mm. but then i told my current organization that i have got an offer and i am uh, thinking of moving mm. so that's when they as a retention thing they offered they told me that you know uh we have another position as a service now business analyst mm, ba mm. if you will be interested okay. so ba ba position uh and i told them that i have also done my certification and i'm aware about the developer things as well uh so that's when they took my interviews again in my company also even though it was an internal job but i had to give like two rounds and then they offered me the service now ba position as well good so it's been great sir i mean i think one year back uh six seven months back i had no idea where my career was going hmm. or what was i going to learn which way should i go Correct. but with this course and you know when i met everybody how you explained it it gave me a direction in my career Correct. and with that goal with that purpose i started learning uh and just i not just that i was i mean i have to say this that even how you promote the importance of positive thinking among your students that's also like very commendable because it's not easy when i because i can say from my own experience when you're giving like multiple interviews and all are failing so after four or five interviews you kind of get disappointed a little bit uh, but then because of your teaching and how you taught it to us i had this in my mind that okay let's take something from it at least the learning part that even if i failed this interview i got 10 more questions today so next time when i appear for the interview yeah. i will know answer to 10 more questions correct and that kept me going sir so Good. very grateful to you thank you so much okay ma fine so for uh, uh, <laughs> guiding us for, okay. yeah okay ma thank you 
so finally like uh, you covered everything how you prepared how you failed and how you learned from failures and all right and you also shared how much you got it and all right yes now uh, yeah i think pretty mm -hmm. much covered so now how is your position now so with the learning that you learned so far you are in a confident position like i can do anything mm -hmm. if i get anything in job job side you have that confidence now uh, yes sir i can say that i'm pretty much confident of course way more confident that i was 6 months or 3 months back when i started giving interviews or even before when i started learning the course mm -hmm. but at the same time i think it's very important that even though you have secured a job and even if you think that you know a lot of things now it's important to keep practicing keep on upgrading it even though you're confident about it to keep that confidence yes and to keep maintain it mm -hmm. so i can say i'm i'm very confident now way much more bet in a better position mm -hmm. but i will still not give up practicing and i would recommend it to everybody so now uh, for uh, job aspirants and students like let's say if uh, they look for some guidance from you you are now succeeded and uh, you have some path right what do you recommend them like what do you suggest them like mm -hmm. how, you, how they can prepare how can they how can they succeed any suggestions please i would just say don't give up learning <laughs> and don't yeah don't give up learning don't give up practicing uh, and especially for those people who are uh, freshers or who are from non service now background uh, i think it's important to understand yeah. uh, that sometimes it, it's not possible that you will get your job with the first interview itself mm -hmm. i mean if you get it congratulations great for you but if you don't you don't have to be demotivated mm -hmm. look at it as a chance of learning and prepare yourself better and better because as long as you're not giving up practice and you're not giving up the learning there's nothing that can stop you from eventually getting succeeded correct very good congratulations super super jenny okay maite then uh, anything anything Thank else you to share ma Else? Uh, just that sir i know i have already said it a lot yeah. but i don't think if i can thank you enough mm -hmm. so just thank you and i wish you all the best okay ma may you get all the great things in life and uh, just keep changing lives of your students okay. thank you thank you very much ma thank you yeah take care bye ma